I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you're new to this version, look for a link below the video to a lesson playlist and this quick reference. On the back you'll find instructions and then in the middle are all the scoring elements and payout. In this game of solitaire, I'm going to play four hands at one time. It's really important to compartmentalize your decision making or you'll skew the outcome. If you give this exercise a try, make sure you compartmentalize. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. East will get 14 tiles. South, West, and North will get 13 each. Then we're going to look at each player's hand and see where we can find score. For this game, we're going to establish a three fawn minimum, and it's the east round. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as east. East has one extra tile because they start the game by discarding. So if we discard one tile, we'll be left with four discards, which is a pretty good guideline. I think we should play half flush. Look at all these dots. We have a pair, potential chow. A chow is three in a sequence. There's a chow right there, seven, eight, nine. So I think half flush, dots, and honors. Honors are winds and dragons. So I think we should play half flush for east. That's a three fawn hand. So that would meet the minimum. Right now they have no flowers. So that is a fawn also. The minute they get a flower though, that goes away. So I wouldn't bank on that. It's kind of frosting on the cake. Okay, let's see what we can do for south. Two flowers, a number two and a number three. They're going to get score for this one, but not this one, because this is player one, player two, player three, player four. Seat two, they get score for. Three, that goes with this player, so they won't get score there. We'll get replacements though, because you can't win with these in your hand. So I'm going to put those to the side and we'll take two replacements. Oh, they got another one, but these two need to get their flowers before that. So I'm just going to put that to the side. So here we have four cracks, three bams, four dots, and a single honor. Honors are winds and dragons. So because they have two pair, I think maybe we could have them play all pung. It's going to be a long road though, because they only have two pair. All pung is a much better to start with four pair. So they have a lot of work to do if that's the route we go. The pairs are in two different suits. If they were to do all chow, all three in a sequence, here's three potential chows. That would be one fawn. That's not enough. We got to meet three fawn minimum. So let's see what that flower replacement will bring for us. One fawn could be that flower, and then we need two more. If we did all chow and then maybe get our own flower, we could do that. That would be three fawn, but there's only two flowers per seat. So the chances of getting that two flower is pretty slim. So let's see what we can do for player three or west. They have a four flower. They won't get score for that because this is the flower for that seat.
three, four, and four pair dragons. They can get score for that. They do have a pair here. So I'm thinking maybe all pung there too. Either that or a half flush with cracks. But look at all these discards. That's terrible. Let's see what happens. If we can do all pung, that would be good. But we got to pair up. So these two are in a really, really difficult starting point. This one, not so much. Look at all those dots. Okay, so now let's see what we can do for north. Player four. Two, four, four, three single honors. South and east. It is the east round, and there's a dragon. If they can pair those up, that might help with score. Right now, they have no flowers, so that's a fawn. We'll have to wait and see what happens here. They do have a pair here, but that's, mm, that's not so good. One pair, all these mixed suit tiles. It's going to be hard. This player, I bet this player will win. Let's see what happens. So we're going to discard the nine crack first. And, oh, this player needs another replacement. A dot. Drawing for player two. North. Okay, now we have to choose. We have four, three, five. We have a pair here. Let's discard this nine bam. If you're not going to use terminals, discard those first because there is a category of honors and terminals together for some higher scoring hands. So you can get rid of those if you don't think you're going to use them. Terminals are ones and nines because they begin and end a sequence. So we threw a nine bam and nobody can take it. So we're going to draw for player three. Four dot, <laughs> four, four, four. That is a predicament, all singles, except here and here. That's terrible. Okay, well, let's, let's get rid of, let's see. So we have a four flower, which is not helpful, a pung, potential pung of dragons. So that's one fawn right now. We need two more fawn. All chow is not gonna do it. We need to get down to a suit. The nine bam, let's see, we have a pair here, potential chow, potential chows. Mm, let's see, let's get rid of the, well, let's get rid of the nine bam. It was already thrown. Okay, so we're hoping to pair up here. So any tiles that are discarded, we're going to discard. Unless we start drawing in cracks where we could play a half flush. One suit with honors. So nine bam went down again. Nobody can take it, and now we can draw. Seven crack. Three, four, four singles. Another predicament. Let's get rid of the lesser off suit. Nine crack. Nine crack. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. We need dots. And we got a bam. All right, well, let's get rid of the four crack. Up here, we have five dots. There's a single four crack. We can't take that anywhere, actually, so we're going to draw. Three crack. Now we have an equal number of cracks and dots. We have a pair here and a pair here. I think we should focus on all pung. So let's just get rid of what's out. The four crack was thrown, so let's throw that. We want to give ourselves the best opportunity to pair up. So any tile that was discarded, we'll discard. So up here, we can draw. Five bam. <laughs> oh my goodness. Four, four, four. Again. All right, now, let's see here. Let's discard the nine dot. It's kind of hard at first. 
because some of these discards are a bit arbitrary. You just have to make a choice. Let's draw. Seven crack. We paired up. So we have mixed suits with our pairs. Let's try for all pung. So let's discard the six crack. It's okay to mix suits with pungs. So six crack was thrown. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw. Two bam. We paired up here. But we're trying to do half flush. We have a chow, potential chow, and a potential pung. So this will mess up that plan completely unless we pair up. And we could play maybe all pung. So let's just hold that for a little bit and see what happens. Let's discard the seven bam. And then we can draw here. East. That could help get to a half flush. We have more dots than cracks by one tile. Let's discard this one crack. Because if we pair up, we could play all pung. That's what we're really trying for. Even though we have mostly dots, we have two pair here. So one crack was discarded. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. Two dot. Not good. Let's discard. Two dot. I'm keeping the one crack because we have a pair of fives. If we get a three crack, we can make a chow and get rid of these. That's really terrible. They might even play defense if they don't start pairing up. So two dot was thrown. We're trying for all pung because if we take that two dot for a chow and then pung, this will all be no value. If you mix chows with pungs in mixed suits, you will drive your score down by three. Right now, they have one fawn. So that's not going to work. Even though it looks good, don't be tempted. We're going to draw. Eight bam. That's a chow tile, six, eight, five, six, pair of sevens, but that's only one fawn. All chow in mixed suits is one fawn. Maybe we could get them to a half flush with bams now that they have all those bams. Let's get rid of the one dot. It's kind of a long road for everybody except this player here. So let's come down here. We can pung. Now we can discard the three bam. Nobody can take it. This player has a potential chow, but you cannot chow from the player across from you. You can only chow from the player on your left. So they can't take that tile. We're going to draw. Red. Red dragon. That could bring potential score. So now let's get rid of this three crack. We have one, two pair, five dots, single honors. Tough situation. Three crack was discarded. Here we could chow, but if we chow, we're committing to a half flush. Committing to a half flush with seven discards and we're going into the end of the second wall which means we're coming into the middle game with seven discards. I think I would rather pair up and go for all pung. I'd rather draw. If we pair up, we could maybe play all pung. Let's draw. If we had more cracks, I would go for it. But we have no more cracks to rely on. We'd have to throw all these away. So we're going to draw. Okay, we got a west. That's their seat. If we pair that up, we can get score for that. East, south, west, north. That's their seat. So now let's look and see what's out. None of these are out. Let's discard the eight dot. Okay, and we're going to draw up here because nobody can take it. West, single honor. We just need to pair those up. Okay, eight dot was thrown. We want to pair up. So since an eight dot is out, there's only 
two left. Let's discard that. A dot down here. Okay, now here we could chow, but we already have a chow. I've been told don't break a chow to make a chow if it leaves an isolated tile. So we're going to draw instead. Three crack. Didn't pay off that time. Up here, we're going to draw five dot. Now we have to make a decision. Do we hold on to the pairs and go for all pung? Or do we do half flush? So let's count blocks. We have one, two, three potential chows. One, two, three, or two, three, four. Four, five, six, or five, six, seven. Seven, eight, nine. Single honors. I think we should push for a half flush. And it's going to be a push. Let's discard the five bam. Sacrifice those pairs to get to a three fawn hand. So five bam was discarded. Nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw. West, they paired up. So they could potential pung, potential pung, potential pung, and there's a potential chow. If we can get more cracks, we could maybe do that half flush. Let's discard the seven dot. Seven dot. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. Green dragon. That's nice. Green dragon pair. So they have one, two, three pair now. Or they could play half flush. The challenge is this is a single tile. If this were closer in with these, this, these tiles here for chows, they could maybe push a half flush and sacrifice that but we may need that. So let's go ahead and discard these, three dot. And down here we can, with dots we can chow, three, four, five. So this is their second exposure now, three, four, five. We're gonna discard a six bam. And then it would be this player's turn here. However, this player has pair we're going to pung because if they're playing a half flush, we can still use that pung. If they go for pungs, we can still use the pung. So we'll pung for north. Pung for north and we'll discard the six dot. Down here, we can chow. That would leave an isolated tile but we could pair that up. Now there's one nine dot out. Either way, six, seven, eight. We have to make a choice. There's only one nine dot out. Let's chow. Oops. Six, seven, eight. And we'll discard the two bam. Okay, they just need to pair up any one of these tiles. And then here we're going to draw the last tile of the second wall. Two dot, that was a good tile. Pair, potential chow, potential chow. Let's get rid of the five bam. All right, five bam, five bam. Nobody can take. So we're going to... Oh, we just got through that second wall, so we're now in the middle game. Eight crack. Okay, that's another crack, but it's isolated. Either way, we don't need this four. So that's going down. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw. Six crack. We want bams or pair up. Let's discard that six crack. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. South. Let's get rid of the offsuit tile here. Two bam. 
I forgot to say something about what's happening in the exposures. Anytime you have a player with three exposures in one suit, that's called nine showing or Gao Zheng. And it's a warning in many groups. If any player discards a winning tile and they're in that suit alone, they have to pay for the whole table as a penalty. So always be aware of what exposures each player have. We need to pair up here. So two BAM was discarded. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw. Eight BAM. That is not a keeper for them. We need dots. Okay, nobody can take the eight BAM, so we'll draw. Two dot. That's a discard for them. Two dot. Down here, we can pong. Let's see. Pong. Pung for south. Now we have all these dots here. Let's sacrifice this five crack. We have no other pairs to leverage. We do have chow potential there. So we're sacrificing two pair to get to a half flush. Five crack. We're going to pung. We can chow, pung, pung, pair. Maybe. Let's get rid of the two bam. Up here, we're gonna draw. Flower, so they lost their no flower fawn. Three crack, that would be a discard. Nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw. We need to pair up. No, four crack. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Seven dot, that was a keeper. Seven, eight, nine, or five, six, seven. I think it'd be better used. Yeah, we'll see. We don't have to decide yet. Let's throw the five crack. Five crack, nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw. Two crack, oh, keeper. That's a pair right there. So let's discard the seven bam. Nobody can take that, so we'll draw. Nine dot, bummer. Okay, that's not a keeper for them. There's two nine dots out now, let's draw. White. Okay, none of these are out. There's two nine dots out, let's discard. This is gonna be risky though, because people tend to hold honors. So w this pairing up, unless we draw another dot that's free, meaning fresh, it's not been out, discarded, like maybe a three dot, three dot. A lot of these tiles are out right now. Six dot, seven dot, no, three, six, a three dot or a six dot might be really good for this player as a pair. Okay, here we go. Nine dot. Here, we could chow, leaving an isolated nine. I think we should keep it because there's already two nines out. That would basically make this trash. Let's use it and draw. Three crack. That was disappointing. Okay. Be really good to pair up here. So three crack. We could take that, leaving an isolated tile. There are no other two cracks out. We could pair up. Or we could wait to pong, which is higher score. That would also, either way, we're leaving an isolated tile. Let's draw. Four bam. We paired up. We could do all pung. Let's get rid of the five bam. All pung is five or four fawn. But here, if we pung here and here, those would be a fawn each. So let's see what happens. We could leverage that. So let's, let's just see what happens. Um, 
we need to draw two flower six dot that's a discard nobody can take it so we'll draw seven bam we need dots seven bam nobody wants it we're gonna draw five dot that's a keeper okay now potential chow here's a chow or potential chow chow singles let's get rid of this north that can't bring any value to this hand this might because it's the wind of the round so north was discarded nobody can take it eight bam that is a good discard drawing for north white dragon okay now we have to decide we have one pung out I think half flush is the way to go we only have one other pair in there to leverage the challenge is these are singles since we're in the middle game let's keep the pair and go for all pung we just need to pair up one bam nobody can take it so we'll draw east oh wrong one okay let's throw the north that was already discarded drawing for south four bam and here we're gonna pung we'll go for mixed suit pungs that's just fine that's four or three fawn if we can pung here and here that will help let's get rid of the one crack nobody can take it so we'll draw six dot down here eight crack wrong suit we want dots up here three bam drawing for west whoops okay now we have a potential chow tile but we've got a mixed suit in pungs so this is not going to help if we had waited one more tile one more pick we could have played half flesh and used that for a chow but a little too late let's discard the eight crack focus on pairing up or punging pung 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 so eight crack nobody can take it let's draw four dot down here four dot how many are out one two three this will help in absolutely no way because there's three out four dot down up here though it will help with the chow so there is a chow now five six seven seven eight singles east let's throw the east east nobody can take it drawing four west one bam nobody can take the one bam so we're gonna draw two crack not helpful let's see what's out five bam there's three out let's throw that there's two eight bams out no two cracks are out so let's see what happens we'll draw they paired up there's only one east out let's get rid of the south okay they're zeroing in on their hand okay here we go south two crack discard pung discarding six crack this is called a double weight they're waiting on either a red dragon or a west and either one will bring a fawn because this is their seat wind and this is a punga would be a punga dragon so either one will be a really good tile for them 
So they punged and then discarded the six crack, so it's this player's turn. Five dot. Now this tile is no good. Two crack. Drawing down here. One bam. Six crack. Seven dot. Chows. It's not going to be helpful. Seven crack. They got a pung. Okay, now between the five dot and the a bam, there's two five dots out in chows, and there's two eight bams out in discards. So either one. Let's discard the five bam, hoping that east will not take it. We still have a whole wall left. In this case, it paid off because they're not ready. Last tile, third wall, nine crack. We, we, we need a dot, but they're really going down. Well, these two players are both in dots. Let's draw south. That was already discarded. Two out now. So this is probably a good discard. Three dot, that's what this player needed. Three dot, nobody can take it. White, they paired up. So here's a Pung. Let's get rid of the eight. That south should be a good safe tile, really. So they could Pung, Pung. We can get rid of that. These are gonna be risky discards. Probably should have kept the eight Bam and discarded one of those. Let's draw for east. Eight crack. Green, they paired up. Let's get rid of the red dragon. And that would be Mahjong. Mahjong. All Pung. And Dragon Pung. They had a four flower, but that's not going to count. So all Pung is three, Dragon Pung is four. As far as score, that would be 16 points. And the, it was win by discard. So this player would owe 32 and these two would owe 16. This player needed to Pung the East getting ready to discard here, but this player had that west. This is why you don't want to hold on to honors late in the game, because people are holding on to them for score. You could see here is a pair, pair of greens, so they would never have gotten a pung out of those. And then this player needed this one up here, and then of course this one is no good anymore, and then here we have it maybe discarded here and then this would have given them a punk so holding on to these honor tiles late in the game can be really risky holding on to honor tiles in the middle game and then even going into the end game can be risky business. If you don't pair them up in time, you got to start discarding them and hopefully earlier rather than later, because as you can see, people have had time to pair up those honors and you could be giving somebody a winning hand with a valued tile. It's a risk you take. When you're playing a three fawn minimum, you kind of need those honors to pump up your score. Let me know what you think about this game. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.